here's our ID crew, hard at work. <laughs> These are all mushrooms that have yet to been confirmed identifications. Lots of them. Here's all the DIY mushroom kits. Seasons are. One of the packets, the bags, will have a color label. This is the, the spawn make fixer uppers. <laughs> the spawners. Bunch of beautiful photos of mushrooms. Doing the donation jars. <laughs> They're beautiful. Good job. Here's the kids' area before everything starts happening. Ooh. And the tables are getting set here in the uh, gym. All right, uh, I ran into Steve Trudell here. He's helping with the ID at the uh, Mushroom Show. How are you doing today? Uh, getting a little bit under the gun, trying to get all this stuff dealt with. Yeah, a lot of mushrooms. What's, <laughs> too, too what, many mushrooms. What's the most interesting thing you think you've seen today? I have a hard time with most interesting this is a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he sees a lot of mushrooms. And if it was the most interesting thing, I'd probably put it in my bag and take it with me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cool. And so he's the author of uh, Mushrooms of the Pacific Northwest, and you just finished a book with um, Noah and... Kate Mohat. Kate Mohat, The Mushrooms of Alaska. Mushrooms of Alaska. Awesome, so you spent a lot of time up there studying mushrooms. Yeah, been going up there since 2008. Oh, cool. Almost every year. Wow, and it's good mushroom habitat in Alaska. It is. Awesome. Yeah. A lot of over overlap with the things here in Washington? In South Central and Southeast uh, Alaska, yeah, very similar. Spruce, hemlock forest, a lot of the same stuff. But once you get into interior, white spruce, black spruce, a lot of different, different. stuff. Yeah, cool. Where's your favorite place to go out looking at mushrooms? Uh, wherever I happen to be. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wherever it's raining. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's good to see yeah. you here today. Thanks right. for talking to me, and uh, right. I'll be attending your talk later. So. Okay, great. Cool, thanks. Thanks. All right, right here I'm with David Ansley, president of KPMS. Thank you for all your hard work. And oh, happy to do this. This is a blast. Yeah. How many years have you been doing this? I've been running the show for four years now. Four years and killing it. Yeah, the show has grown like crazy, right? It has. Uh, we can't believe how many mushrooms we brought in this year. Uh, we've had as many as 2,500 guests. Uh, we hope to hit that again today. Yeah. Um, and the club has uh, blossomed along the way. We've now got almost 400 members. Yeah. You seem pretty calm and collected right now. You it's because i got 50 people out here yeah. actually doing the work. Yeah. Got a big team of volunteers, so things are running smoothly. Yep. I heard that you might want to step down from president soon. Four years is pretty good. Um, it's a term. term. It's a term. <laughs> and uh, I think we got a lot of new young blood, people very happy to run this club however they like in whatever direction makes sense to them and more power to them. Yeah. Well, yeah. whatever way it works out, I thank you for your service. You've really oh, it's fun. just done an amazing job. It's rewarding. Club. What can I say? I love helping people understand this stuff. Yeah. And David loves mushrooms, too. He's like sneaking around in the woods. <laughs> sneaking. I'm pretty blunt about it. Yeah. I'll be back. I'm in the woods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Awesome. Well, nice talking to you. Good talking Thanks, to you. Thanks, David. Bye. So here you can see the way that the mushrooms get grouped and the edible, inedible caution, not recommended, and poisonous. Oh, we got psilocybe in the caution. That makes sense. Stuntii, pelliculosa. Cool. Here's where they're building the displays. How you doing? Cool. Hey, how you doing, Ken? It's like the waiting on it, though, for the, the smaller ones. All right, you're going to count those and see how many are left at the end of the day? <laughs>
We got Slosky Cyanus, and somebody brought in a bunch of them growing in their yard just across the street somewhere. So. Atra Purpurius. Yeah. Here, Alan Rockefeller showed up to help ID here at the Bremerton show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, what do you think of this show as compared to uh, you go to a million of these things? Oh, this is definitely the best show in the country. There's so many mushrooms here. There is, really, though. There's a lot of different mushrooms and beautiful day out. So, good to see you here today. You as well. Yeah, I think everybody's kind of excited that Alan's here helping ID so you can go through and maybe just double check everything on the table. So, uh, oh, I've written names on hundreds of collections yeah. this morning. Killer. Awesome. Got a more to go. So here's Bill doing the list of all of these species. Man. And so these are all need new tags, huh? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Ones we haven't had before. Does this seem like an average load of mushrooms? No, this is no, a lot right. more variety than usual. Yeah. Cool. So things are really popping in Kitsap right now. I think it's really spotty. On the south end. Yeah. I think the south, yeah. where they got the rain. Yeah, the yeah. Both forget it. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of mushrooms yeah, I think here today. A lot of these came from more the south end. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's some really cool stuff out there. Yeah. This is the first mushrooms named after Quinoa. We got Copernopsis, Quinoakensis. I'm getting my booth all set up. I look at these crazy people. <laughs> it's a mushroom parade. Here's Tim and Adam for from Adam's Mushrooms. Looking beautiful as ever. What an awesome stand you guys got. Couldn't help but want to buy some mushrooms here. Very nice. Mr. Winkler is in the house as usual. Good to see you at KPMS. Doing life. Yeah. Doing good. Doing good. Oh yes. Oh, this beautiful art. Miss Rishi Strauss here, hey, yeah, be doing some tinctures and things like that. Nice. Yeah, awesome. Good to see you here. Good to see you too, Happy Yeah. Mr. Lowell Dietz selling some uh, some oyster kits. How you doing today? Good to see you. Nice. Fifteen bucks, best deal around. Twenty-five for the big ones. Dang. You get a lot of mushrooms off of that, huh? Um, you get over a kilo out of this, and you might get three, three and a half kilos. Out Dang, of yeah, that's a pretty good amount. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Look up deedsfarm.com. What's the most interesting thing you've seen here today? How about this chunk of columella citrina? Oh, those are neat. The, the yeah. truffle... Uh, truffle suillus. Truffle suillus. Cool. It's kind of a montane species. Where was it collected from? Uh, it says Pierce County. Okay. 200... something. Feet. 200 feet. Pierce and it's pretty cool if you cut this open, you can see the little stipe within it. It's like still in the evolutionary process. It's truncate. Have enjoying these bullets that have an alright taste, but they have a really 
mushy consistency if you fry them in butter. So dry frying. That's really what makes all the difference. These guys dry fried are enjoyable or you dry them and then you can use them, powder them, make a butter out of them and so on. But without dry frying, you have just a really unattractive mush. And so this one, eat your mushrooms. You go in the forest to eat your mushrooms. This is really the book that gives you the most information for our region. You always want to get books for you. I tried out the soup. It's quite good. Is it chanterelle? No. Oh, this, this is, is Terry. Really He's my friend good. with the doing? club. And uh, what kind of mushrooms is it? Uh, we got the um, uh, porcini and birch filet. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to try it out. All right. All right. We're going to try the birch filet soup. Everything that is in the mixture is right here. Okay. And if you like it that much, the recipe is over there. Awesome. All right. Goes nothing. It's savory and mushroomy. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Hey, so I got Kristen here. How are you today? I am super. Good. Good to see you here. She's a, a huge powerhouse member of the club here, has been for years. And you made this birch bullet soup, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I, you know, kind of came up with the idea because we have some members in the club which are vegan. Yeah. And they could never eat our soup because it was always cream of mushroom soup, which oh, yeah. is the normal thing, what people kind of expect. But we also wanted to do an educational thing for the public. It doesn't have to have butter, cream, and milk in it, yeah. which is anyway not good for our planet as it. Yeah. We yeah. want to get away from this. So um, to call it vegan, so you have just veggies, yeah. mainly potatoes, which mm. give the starch, thick make it a little it. thick in it. Yeah. yeah, and then a lot, a lot of nice bullet powder. Yeah. Know, oh, yeah. okay. So, you know, it's very savory and birch bullets. Birch so, bullets, yeah. and nobody has ever complained at eating the birch bullets that's been being served here for no, a long time. No. Yeah. I was just talking with a different member from our club. It's a, a tiny amount only, so that's, you know, not getting that much. But I have yeah. never heard anything from anybody like, yeah. oh, I ate your soup and it was bad. Yeah, it is a small amount, but yeah. it seems like the Lexianum are a pretty safe mushroom to eat. I think so. Yeah. I think so. So I'm not in a group who says, oh, you have to be careful anyway. But I also yeah. eat all the mushrooms, so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought it was delicious. It's always nice to see you. Okay. Thank you for all the all service right. you do. Yeah. Thank you. Mushroom Wonderland. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the uh, the soup is made out of, like Sinum scabrum, for the birch bully. Okay. 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 